New right now at 10, toll opposition continues to grow. More than 10,000 people have now joined a Facebook group criticizing LDOT's plan to charge local motorists up to, up to $6 to cross the new I-10 River Bridge. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live tonight in Baldwin County, where officials hope that opposition doesn't take a toll on another local project. No, Greg, Kim, the outrage over Aldot's plan to toll trips across the bay has only grown. Now, Baldwin County officials are hoping it doesn't impact their own Beach Express extension project. To say Aldot's plan to toll the new I-10 Mobile River Bridge is unpopular is an understatement. Many residents have voiced their opposition straight to Aldot, and since it was created in May, the Block the Mobile Bayway Toll Facebook page has garnered more than 10,000 members. The plan has definitely struck a nerve. People, I think, have never really stopped to appreciate what it meant to have a free bridge and a free tunnel until now. Kevin Spriggs, Spanish Fort business owner, is an administrator for the social media page, which calls the tolls, quote, irresponsible and economically dangerous. People say if it has a toll on it, they don't want it. Uh, that's, that's the overwhelming feedback. Baldwin County officials hope that feedback doesn't affect the Northern Baldwin Beach Express extension project. Senator Chris Elliott says the hope is voters approve a toll authority for the project next year. It's been on the books for a long time. The county's invested a lot of money in it. The funding's got to come from somewhere. It puts the, the cost of that project uh, on the tourists, the ones that are using, uh, using the project. A previous attempt failed years ago, and Elliott says this may be the county's last chance to move forward with the roughly 25-mile, $200 million roadway connecting I-10 to I-65. It is good for hurricane evacuation, and it pulls traffic off of congested areas like Highway 59. This is probably the last chance that this, this is going to come up, um, and it'll be a do or die. A toll authority will decide the cost for the extension's tolls. That will be up for a vote next March or next November. Reporting live in Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.